this is Dear Neighbor, I swear I'm not an asshole. Now I know what I did is exactly what an asshole would do. I'm sure you were getting ready to leave for work this morning and you walk outside and what do you see but a car parked so perfectly blocking you from leaving your driveway. And I'm, I'm sure when you look at this, it's, it's almost like it was out of spite. It, like it almost, it, it had to be, right? Because the rest of the street was totally empty. This person could have parked anywhere and they chose to per park right in front of your driveway. And I'm sure you look at this and the only reasonable conclusion you can come to with the information you have is, what an asshole. And listen, neighbor, I, I totally get it. And I, I'm sorry. And I, I, I'm not writing this to argue with you or anything. I, I totally deserved the ticket that I got. I just wanted to take a minute to explain. That's all. You see, when I was pulling in last night, when, when I parked there, I just, I, I meant to pull in and then reverse back along the curb to an actual spot. And I just, I wasn't even, I, I wasn't thinking. You see, right before I parked there in front of your driveway, I was coming back home to my apartment from my house. I was coming back home from my house. And you see, when I was at my house, there was this glass French press on the counter, on my counter, and it didn't belong there. It wasn't mine. And I know it wasn't hers. And it belonged to someone else. Someone else who was making themselves at home in my house. And you see, when I was pulling up last night, neighbor, I was just, I wasn't there. I was just, I wasn't thinking. I was trying to wrap my mind around how in the world I managed to not smash this French press. Because that is all I wanted to do. It would have felt so good, neighbor, to just death grip that thing and to just wail it on the floor and to see the thousands of pieces of glass just shatter around in a way that they'll never be able to be put back together again. It would have just felt like such relief. It's all I wanted to do. And, and I was just sitting in the car last night when I was parking and I was just thinking about how did I manage to not smash that French press? And then it started to, to dawn on me because I know what would have happened. I would have smashed it and it would have felt so good. And then two seconds later, Dane, my, my dog, my ex dog, he would have come running in the kitchen after he heard the sound to make sure that I was okay. And Dane, he's a clumsy fella. He would have just been jumping all around and he would have torn up each of his paws and it would have been a bloody mess. It would have looked like a crime scene. And I wouldn't have had a problem with leaving a mess, but I didn't want to hurt him. So I didn't touch that French press. I didn't even trust myself to get within arm's length of it. I walked out of the kitchen, I walked to the door and I, I said goodbye to my dog, my, my ex dog. And I walked out the door and I got in my car and I left my house and I came here, home. And it was one of those drives, I don't even remember how I got here. I'm just glad I, I made it because I feel like I could have ended up anywhere, but somehow I ended up here and I just, you see neighbor, like when I parked, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. 
Well, I was thinking, I, I was thinking about that French press and of my dog, my ex-dog, signed your neighbor. Thanks.